Good evening. I have a wonderful friend, Monica, who's not on the phone, doesn't have a TV, writes letters, and I write back. And she always has masses said for me, and I get mass cards and, and beautiful prayers. And she sent me a beautiful prayer for the 17th of December to the 23rd. Type it up because the font is too small for my eyes to read it um, well. So it's typed up. I'm going to share it with you for those days from the 17th of December till today. Well, we're going to on the 23rd. So I hope you enjoy the words that are going to come from these beautiful prayers. Come, Lord Jesus, 17th of December 2020. Wisdom. Mary's hymn of praise, the Magnificat, is used daily in the church's evening prayer, both before and after the recitation of the Magnificat itself, and there are little verses called antiphons. The first antiphon, O wisdom who fills all creation and holds sway over all the earth, O come, teach us the way, guide us along the path that leads to God. The prayer, Lord, as I worry about all the things I need to do, or presents I need to get in the next few days, I ask you to bless me with fresh understanding. Grant me the wisdom that brings me ever closer to you and to the true meaning of Christmas. Amen. The 18th of December Lord of Lords In the seven days leading up to Christmas Eve from the 17th to the 23rd of December, Mary's Magnificat is accompanied by special antiphons called the Great Antiphons. The second antiphon, O Lord of Lords, ruler of your people, who appeared to Moses as fire and gave him the law on Mount Sinai, O come, Save us with your mighty power. The prayer, Lord, with only a week to go, I ask you to help me, in spite of my rushing around, to prepare well for Christmas. Make my heart ready to receive you, open to your promptings, prepared for your coming so that I can truly rejoice in you as our Lord and Saviour this Christmas. Amen. Nineteenth of December, Root of Jesse. The series of seven antiphons, one for each of the seven days of special prayer, can be used as a way to pray and prepare for the Lord's birth at Christmas. Third Antiphon O Root of Jesse, a sign for all the nations, peoples acclaim you, and kings fall silent before you. O come, make haste to deliver us. The Prayer Lord, pardon me for the many times I have been indifferent to your love, when I have been occupied with other things, trivial things, while all the time you long for me to share a few moments with you in your compassion. Forgive me my many weaknesses. Amen. 20th December, King of David. These antiphons are ancient prayers with texts dating from the 8th or even the 7th centuries. They begin, 
may be imperative, or hence the title, the O antiphons. The fourth antiphon, O key of David, you unlock and none can lock again. O come, set captives free, unlock the door for those who live in distress. The prayer, Lord, you search for the lost, you bring back the stray and set captives free. Bless my family and friends, especially those who have strayed from your love, whose lives are in turmoil. I ask you to be their hope so that they may find peace through your blessings this Christmas. Amen. The 21st of December, Rising Sun. The texts are a mosaic of biblical verses from the prophetic and wisdom books of the Old Testament. They gather the Old Testament understanding of the one who is to come. The fifth antiphon, a rising sun, splendor of eternal light, and sun of justice. O come, enlighten those who live in darkness and in the shadow of death. The prayer, Lord, you wish to come among us and to free us from the darkness into which we had fallen. At this Christmas too, we ask you to enlighten us, to take away any darkness in our lives and in our world. May the light of your presence bring peace between nations this Christmas. Amen. Today's one, the 22nd of December. King of Kings. These antiphons use Old Testament titles for the Messiah and indicate praise and adoration as we await their fulfillment with the day of the Lord's birth. The sixth antiphon. O King of Kings, Longed for a ruler, the cornerstone, O come, redeem us, whom you fashioned from the dust of the earth. The prayer, Lord, you rule us not with fear, but with your loving kindness, for you come as king of kings to be born in a manger. You show compassion to all especially to the poor, to the broken-hearted, and to those in sorrow. You come to us with love in the wonder of a babe born in a manger. Amen. The 23rd of December, Emmanuel. These seven antiphons end on the 23rd of December the day before Christmas Eve, they mark the last remaining days of Advent in anticipation of Christ's birth. The seventh antiphon, O Emmanuel, God with us, hope of the nations, Saviour, O come, come with the power of your love, and save us, Lord, our God. The prayer, Lord, as the day of your birth draws close, I thank you for the love you show to us all, good and bad alike, for you through whom we came to be, wanted to be one of us, one with us in our humanity, God with us as our Saviour. Come, Lord, come. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful time this Christmas. 
and put the Lord top of your agenda for time, if you can. Bless you and thank you for listening.